robot animals. Forget robots that look like humans. The next generation of robots will be based on animals, from snakes to locusts, and even a robotic octopus that can study the ocean floor. When it comes to robots, science fiction has conditioned us to think of androids, bipedal machines approximating the human form. But the next generation of robots may be based on very different types of animals. Snakes, flies, locusts, and even the multi-tentacle octopus. Scientists are hard at work on just such contraptions. Here's a look at seven of the most fascinating designs that can help with everything, from exploring our insides to cleaning up the mess that we make on the planet. So don't forget to watch today's video to the very end for the top seven robotic animals that will surely fascinate you to the end. But before we begin, we request you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to never miss another upload of ours. Having said that, let's jump right in. Number seven, robotic snake for colons. Medrobotics' signature product, the Flex Robotics System, allows physicians to reach deep into the body with minimal risk. The Flex System is based on a snake with multiple mechanical links. The snake's robot eyes see in 3D to help the surgeon navigate. The physician controls the snake's movements via a video game like joystick. Once in place, the Flex can become rigid, allowing a surgeon to pass through an instrument which can cut or suture. The instruments are also controlled robotically by the joystick. Flex is ideal for exploring nonlinear or circuitous paths like the colon, a tricky and sometimes dangerous task using a traditional straight endoscope. Flex can enter through the mouth as well, allowing physicians to reach tough to access areas of the body such as the larynx and vocal cords. Number six, another robotic snake, but for space. Snakes are a popular animal inspiration for Israeli designed robots. David Zaruk, head of Ben Gurion University of Negev's bio inspired and medical robots lab, has developed a minimally articulated serial robot. The robot approximates a snake by traveling back and forth along a thin, rotatable structure using two motors that slide up and down its articulated body. Additional sections can be added and subtracted easily, up to four links in less than a minute. Part of BGU's ABC, Agricultural, Biological, and Cognitive Robotics Initiative, MASR is intended for such missions as agriculture, picking fruit, search and rescue, and fixing, docking or refueling satellites in outer space. Number 5. Robat If bats frighten you, you'll want to steer clear of Tel Aviv University graduate student Itamar Ilya Kim's latest invention, an autonomous robot that navigates in the dark like a flying rodent. Robat doesn't actually fly, it scoots on the ground on four wheels. But it's like animal inspiration, Robat uses echolocation to map its environment based on sound. An ultrasonic speaker produces frequency-modulated chirps at a rate typically used by bats, and two ultrasonic microphones serve as robot's ears. The robot classifies the borders and shapes of the objects it encounters with its own artificial neural network. If the device reaches a dead end, for example, it can use its classification abilities to determine whether it's blocked by a solid wall or by a plant through which it could pass. When an animal arrives in a new environment, it needs to map the environment so that it can find its way to important places, like home and food resources. Many animals build maps of their environment on a daily basis using their senses, but for engineers, building robots that can map a new environment is one of the hardest problems. Researchers have tried to mimic the ability of bats to navigate and map new environments using sound waves. Bats transmit sounds, usually using their mouths, and receive the echoes that return from the environment using their ears. The bat's brain processes the echoes, and this allows the bat to 1. move in an unknown environment without crashing into obstacles, 2. identify objects around it, and 3. map the location of the objects. This unique sense is called echolocation. It's worth mentioning that bats are not blind. Many bats use sight along with echolocation, although the way that they combine both senses is still unclear to us. In order to better understand how bats map the world, we decided to build a robot that mimics bats' echolocation ability. Many researchers have studied how a bat's brain processes echoes and uses them to build a map. These studies taught us a lot about bats, but building a real robot, as we did in the study, demanded that we deal with all of the real problems that bats face when mapping their environments acoustically. Number 4. Robotic Rooster Roosters can fly, but prefer to walk. That was the basis for the design of the Rooster Robot from Israeli startup Robotiken, launched in 2011 by three students at BGU's Robotics Lab. 
Most of the time, it walks, but when it runs into an obstacle, it can hover and fly, Ophir Bustan, Robotikan's COO, tells Israel 21C. This rooster's main agenda is reaching injured victims of natural disasters where it's not safe to send a human rescue worker. Rooster is tough. It rolls inside a 30 by 40 centimeter cage and can crash from 6 meters high and keep on working. A team of roosters can communicate with one another, even if there's no cellular connection available, by creating a wireless mesh network, kind of like a robotic walkie-talkie. A flock of roosters can be controlled by a single human operator, and if rooster hits a wall, it can explore other options without waiting for instructions. The Israeli Ministry of Defense is a Robotikan customer. Number 3. Robotic Octopus the Octopus Group at the Hebrew University of Jerusalem was set up to help create the first soft-bodied robot. Soft silicone rubber muscles mimic the way that an octopus moves its tentacles, elongating and stretching them as needed. The researchers, led by Professor Benjamin Hoshner, are part of an international project begun in 1996 to build an octopus-like robot that can explore the nooks and crannies on the ocean floor or assist in search and rescue missions. Number 2. Locust Robots when is a plague of locusts a good thing? When it's comprised of tiny, high-jumping robots. Locusts were the animal inspiration for a team of zoologists and mechanical engineers who have invented a robot that can jump 11 feet and cover a horizontal distance of 4.5 feet, all in one leap. The robot doesn't look like a locust, but its design is based on the biomechanical features of a locust's three-stage jump mechanism. These jumping robots haven't been commercialized yet. How our prototype could be used is a matter of imagination, says Professor Emil Ayali of Tel Aviv University, who hooked up with scientists at ORT Broad College in Carmiel to build the 5-inch long robot. But Ayali foresees small, inexpensive jumping robots accomplishing tasks more efficiently than larger robots. Moreover, the cyber jumpers can be used in environments where small size is an advantage, such as searching under the rubble or cleaning up an oil spill. Number 1. Robotic Vane Fly when Technion professor Moshe Shoham was first working on autonomous crawling micro-robots that can navigate spaces within the human body, including the circulatory, digestive, and respiratory system, he dubbed it a robotic fly. These days, Microbot Medical, the company based on Shoham's invention, speaks more about the robot's capabilities than its animal ancestry. Inside a blood vessel, the robot moves by gripping the sides of the vessel walls with its minuscule outstretched arms. Microbot's tiny robots can travel around tight spaces and curved passages and remain within the body for prolonged periods of time. They can function autonomously or be controlled using electromagnetic fields operated by a nearby human technician. In 2018, the company received a patent for the first commercial product based on Microbot's VI Rob technology, a self-cleaning shunt for the treatment of hydrocephalus, an overaccumulation of spinal fluid in the brain. With that, we come to the end of today's video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Lastly, join in next time for more of such interesting content.